Good evening, family. How's it going? Happy March manifesting. Yep. <laughs> All the feels. All the feels. Let's just see what spirit would like us to know. We've got like a whole wave of next level stuff. Angel of pleasure. Take pleasure in the things that you do. I was in book reading session, reading this book with someone. Okay, so very interesting. The angel of pleasure. So what I'm honestly feeling, and I met a, someone today who I met on Instagram and we we're talking about sacred unions and how so many of us have been preparing ourselves and just like totally cool with being single or being um, our own divine feminine and divine masculine within us and being cool with it. But, and what's happening is unexpected meetings, unexpected unions, well, maybe not unexpected, but just like surprise unions are happening. So if you're feeling maybe that even, you know, you've been in a relationship, but there's something that's reawakening in that relationship. Okay. A lot of talk about the waters lately even just being more aware and conscious of your water and your water holding intention and water holding memory. So like blessing the water, thanking the water, praying over the water, um, maybe even being called to like a lake or a river or an ocean and, and thanking it. It's like earth, Earth, our body, water, our blood, like, and we are water. So, like, thanking your body and loving it and knowing, like, the water within you is, 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 is hearing that and, and remembering. So, are we in Pisces season? And, like, time is, like, really not uh not happening for me because okay there's also something to say about the quantum field and the quantum field <laughs> thank you water thank you thank you thank you so divine also getting a water filter or like if you're drinking tap no more uh structured water getting something that's uh, structuring the water into micro clusters just like if it was out of like a natural spring it's naturally structured through the rocks and your body is absorbing that water more efficiently so just becoming more aware of our relationship to water and how precious it is um, And I'm also hearing the feminine element, water, and the fire element, the man. And when, as the sacred unions and sexual alchemy begins to happen on the planet, these two elements are uniting and learning to dance together, you know? So, there's so much I could say on that, but we'll just leave this, leave that as that. Let's pull another card, let's just keep it, let's keep it rolling here, see what else. That one felt. Angel of Space Clearing. Okay. 
it's time to clear old negative thoughts and feelings. So as like unions begin to happen or uh, relationships begin to to birth, old stuff can come up because like we're fine when we're alone, like yes. And then you have that feeling of um, a reflection, a deep reflection. Like I just wrote in my journal something about relationships reveal things. It's not necessarily that like, you 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 make me feel this way or you did this to me it's like no thank you like for revealing what was already within me that was dormant and that now gets to come up to the surface um so clearing out those old insecurities or like things might come up that are like uh didn't know that was in there still like am i good enough am i worthy do i deserve this yeah come back you know it's like we're in this like t really quickening time of like ascension and, and movement forward on the spiritual path most of us at least who've seen these videos and we can like get lost a little bit like off track like forget who we are and then like no nope. like no nope. you come right back come right back to center like, no i am i am god i am i am the divine I am the spark of the divine. And yeah, I might forget a little bit here and there. But come back. It's like we slip out and then come back. And I think, who was it? Someone said, like, the spirit dips out and, like, just dip right back in. Okay. Let's see what else. Let's pull some from the John Holland Tarot. Well, let's pull two. Yeah. Victory and success. Jaima, victory to the mother. Victory and success. We've done it. It's like, affirm that. Like, there's some things out there that might not look like victory and success to the light. There's still like maybe some shadow happening duh it's like they're trying real hard to keep their power but we know we know that it's done because we are now accessing the quantum field as more and more of us awaken we are beginning to access the quantum field the christ consciousness the god consciousness the cosmic consciousness and we're no longer bound by time and space. We're transcending. And we're in the infinite field of possibilities. And as more of us light workers access that and go, oh my gosh, like we're not dabbling in the lower dimensions and the getting caught up in like, oh, the third dimensional time takes this long. In the quantum field, there is one eternal now. And we're bridging that into the third dimension to make things like synchronicity and divine meetings happen. Truth. The truth is being revealed. The truth of who we are is being remembered. Um... There's the balance. The balance is happening. The balance within us has been being created. And now we're starting to see this balance as more of a collective come together. And more of this community thing happening. It's like where we don't really need rules. We just kind of know. It's like this telepathic knowing between us. That your divinity, your divinity, I'm divinity, this space is divinity. What we're creating is divinity. If it feels like disharmony, we're going to talk about it and like talk, talk truth. This is a major arcana card too. So the meaning that there, that's a major life shift. So this March, be ready for some major 
truth, some major manifesting happening. March, I keep hearing like this is March manifesting. So if you've been like doing the deep dive in January, February, 2020, March is going to reveal some things for you. Some movement is going to be happening. March movement, March manifesting. Where's the dream cards? So if your dreams, like I've been having so many dreams, like past people, like past lovers coming up to surface and uh, some weird dreams, like of like some like astral, astral realm energies that, but I'm like not afraid of it. Like I used to be like, oh my God, that was a weird dream. I'll tell you. Yeah. Never mind. Let's just pull a card. transition we've been transitioning and some of you will be continuing transitioning we're always going to be transitioning we're in this like state of ever expansion because this quantum field this quantum world that we're starting to exist in more and more and more and more because more of us are practicing and it's like the hundred monkey theory we're going to be in this perpetual state of like not just one bloom, but like a bunch of blooms. And also I'm hearing, you know, there might be some transitions happening like deaths. And that's okay too. It's like being okay with death, even if it's not like a physical death, like coming to terms with you know, we will die and not to be afraid of it, to just be okay with it. Like, I know there's so many of us light workers, like, we're not really afraid of death. We're just more afraid of, like, not fully, like, really enjoying and living this, like, beautiful life that we have been gifted with on Mama Gaia. So, transitions, you know, allow the, like, energy to f start flowing through you more slowing down and f really feeling like feeling your way through life and like really tasting like you know slowing down a bit and really feeling this inner alchemy that's happening like that that energy that transforms the caterpillar into the butterfly is the same energy that's transforming you and that's transforming and ascending your consciousness into these more expanded states of awareness and these deeper truths. Where's the... Oh yeah, okay, so one more card. Speaking to me. And I feel like I infuse, just like I infuse the water and my food with gratitude. My cards are the same. They're like my little friends. So I enjoy using it. It's like we don't really need them because like I said in one of my videos, like we are the oracle. But it is dang fun to use these tools. Ha! Kind of like felt this card. Gaia. The soul of the earth. Mama. I've been singing a lot of Jema, J Jema. Nurturing. Feel the nurturing. Feel that same essence that took care of you in the womb. But you didn't have to do anything. You were just existing and growing and expanding and becoming. Allow that energy to take care of you and move you forth into this next phase into this next um yeah this next little journey okay i love you and i will see you soon with more messages if you have questions comments please leave them below it's really i feel like there's like this energy that gets created when we comment and um get to interact and like eventually meet because that's what's been happening too so i love you and